Hi, I'm Arlene and I'm back again with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about some perfumes I bought and they're all blind, blind buys. Um, if you're interested in this video, please keep watching. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to push the bell. Okay, so let's get started. So... The first fragrance I'm going to talk about is, I want to say this right, the La U Itsy, wait, the La U De Itsy Per Nectar Deep Perfume. But on the bottle, it just says Nectar De Itsy, Audi Perfume. So, this is the Go bottle, and I bought this um, as a tester. And so it's supposed to have a the top on here that's really a um, like a travel or a purse, a purse, um, a purse bottle. What you call it, a or a sampler or something? But that's how the top is made. But I bought it as a tester so i don't have the top anyway let's talk about the scents while I, i'm gonna spray it on my hand let's give it two good sprays okay so the the scents in this one it has honey pear bergamot the middle is rose water notes peony the base has cashmerian and burgers sandalwood, and white musk. So I want this to dry down a bit. On first initial spray, it has the watery note. It has a bit of, um, I smell some flowers. It's a little bit sweet. I think if you like the original Itsy Miyake, You'll like this one. Smelling this again. The rose does come out. So it's more of a, like a fresh rose. I'm not getting a lot of the sweetness or the pear right now. But I do like it. It smells... Um, Great for the summer um, or spring because it has that fresh note to it. I'm going to let that dry down some. And I'm going to spray the next one that I have. Now this one is Jimmy Choo. Jimmy Choo Audi Parfum. Oh, this is also like a tester bottle that I bought. So it doesn't have the top on it. Um, this one is a 100 mil or a 3.3. I forgot to tell you how much this one is. This one is a 60 mil or two ounce. Or, yeah, two ounce. So for the Jimmy Choo, the notes in the Jimmy Choo are pear, mandarin, orange, green notes. The middle has orchid and the base has toffee and patchouli. Let's see. I was trying to compare something. Oh my goodness, I was like, oh, okay. Now, the Jimmy Choo, it, it has a little bit of freshness. It's sweet, seductive. Um, it has the, like I said, the fresh, a little bit of crispiness to it. It's, a, I think it's a very pleasant, 
um, scent. I was about to say flavor, but a, pre a pleasant scent. I haven't worn it out yet, but by having the patchouli in there, I would guess that it will um, last pretty long. It's um, it's like a refreshing, seductive scent. I really like it. It has a bit of sweetness to it. I'm going to go back to this um, Itsy Miyake. Or not the Itsy Miyake. What is this called? Well, it is Itsy Miyake, but it's the Nectar. Nectar Diopsy. <laughs> This one now, you're smelling a lot of the freshness, a little bit of sweetness. You're getting a real good sense of the watery note. And I'm speaking of the Nectar Diazzi. I think it's really going to smell good when it starts warming up. I think it's going to just pop off your skin and give you that clean, fresh, out the shower type scent. I really do think I'm going to enjoy um, wearing this. And I think it's going to, the, the sweetness is going to pop off your skin a little bit warm. I mean, a little bit more when it warms up. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy that. It, that Nectar Diazzi. Now I'm going back to the Jimmy Choo. I really enjoy the Jimmy Choo. It that that sweet, clean cleanness of it. I think it'll be. Um, I think it'll wear very nicely as the war weather warms up, and it has a bit of seductiveness to me, the sexiness going on. So I really do think you can wear it in the daytime, but you'll also. You also um, can get away with wearing it at night. I really enjoy that. So the last one I got is the La Wheat Treasure. I couldn't wait to get this one. I was very excited about this one. So I'm going to put a little bit of the lotion on since I have it. Just a little. When I was when I came I came home from lunch for lunch one day just because I seen that it had been delivered I couldn't even wait to spray it I sprayed it and went back to work and I had one of the one of my um, co-workers at work smell it she was like she got a habit I was like I said is it just me or is it sexy she was like oh yeah that's sexy this right here, I don't know why I haven't heard of it before now, because it's been out for some years. Oh. If you want a sexy nighttime fragrance, this is the one to get. Okay, so the notes in the La Wheat Treasure Eau de Parfum is pear, tangerine, bergamot, Strawberry, vanilla, orchid, black rose, passion fruit. The base has praline, caramel, lychee, vanilla, patchouli, essence, coffee, licorice, um, camarin, and papyrus. Okay. So straight out the gate, it is sweet. It 
It has a little bit of um, powder, powderiness to it. You're getting the a little bit of the patchouli. This is such an elegant and sexy fragrance to me. It just, it smells delicious. It smells like edible, like you'll be a snack. But to me, it's not too sweet. I can see where it might be too sweet for some people, but this right here will be a compliment getter, a head turner. They're going to want to see who that is wearing that scent. That's the Lanute. The, I'm sorry. It looks like Lanute, but it's Louis. Treasure. Mm. It's just something about the Louis Treasure that's different. Um... I really enjoy all the fragrances, but in this blind buy that I've done, the Louis is the one I'm most excited about. And then the Jimmy Choo, and then the um, Nectar Itsy Miyake. I want to give that Itsy Miyake a whole lot of different names. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the Nectar Diazzi. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to change the angle of the camera just so I can show you what I have on for today and what I wore today. I got a lot of compliments. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the outfit of the day. And I'm hoping that you can see me all the way. Or we're just going to do it in parts. Because I know you can see my feet. So, this is what the shoes are. These are some booties that I got years ago. I can't remember the name. And I should have looked. It's not on the bottom here. I'll try to see before I close out the video. I know I got them from Macy's. Um, these pants I got from Express a couple years ago and, or was it last year? I don't know, it was either a couple years ago or last year. I know it was when the Express in my hometown was going out of business. And the sweater is from New York and Company. I know this is some years old. So that's what this is. It's kind of like a, a crop sweater because if I raise my hands, you can see skin. And these pants are high-waisted on me. <laughs> but I felt real comfortable today. I did put a little effort in. I didn't want to just put on a jogging suit today. I felt like doing a little extra. So I just have on. Um, some earrings, some um, little sparkly earrings, my Movado watch, a ring, and a couple of pieces of jewelry. The, um, why well, I can't remember what these are. My Pandora bracelet, Tiffany bracelet, and a little diamond bracelet. So that's what I look like today. Oh, the reason why I was even doing all this because my fragrance of the day was Angel or Concierge 2020. Um, while I was out today, I got many um, compliments. People wanted to know what it was. And I really enjoyed this. This was my first time wearing this out. This is the one that has the fig in it. Oh, and I want to look at these shoes. 
and see who they were by. These are suede booties, like a little cowboy boot. Okay, I'm doing all that, and I can't even see who it's by, and I don't have a box anymore. Okay, anyway, I will not be able to tell you. Oh, wait. Mark Fisher. <laughs> That's who it's by. So those were by Mark Fisher. And I want to thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs> oh, on the wrong side. I can't turn it off. Ha, ha, ha.